Wyatt Regis 2025. Welcome to Vendors Academy. In today's video, we want to talk about the seven crucial physics questions which have been identified, and these are going to be very crucial and it's going to help students covering 2025 syllabus. And this video is going to be providing an insight on how best students can strategize and the most effective way to solve the physics YEC 2025. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to be providing seven major topics that are most difficult and the way you should answer the question. So you must master these seven topics. And also remember that in my subsequent video, I'm going to be carrying this video in part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, and part seven in order to cover the areas that these questions are going to come out from and the best way to answer those questions. Also remember, when a particular part is difficult, I can break them into different episodes. All right? So let's get started for us to be able to master physics and ask them. And for, so you are at the right place. You can also check my previous videos on physics particle exams and other tips and topics I've been solving in my playlist in order to get students prepared for their upcoming exams. Number one question is simple harmonic motion. Mm. Simple harmonic motion, especially you talk about the period, you talk about the frequency, you talk about the potential energy, you talk about the kinetic energy. In simple harmonic motion, for example, simple pendulum or spring, so you need to know them or even work done by these systems. Simple harmonic motion is very important. So in a follow-up video, I'm going to start solving questions that have come out in work and which has been consistent in previous years about simple harmonic motion. And if you check your previous question, simple harmonic motion was there in 2024, it came in 2023, and I'm sure it was also there in 2022. So it's a very important topic. We must be very careful to study. So in my next video, I'm going to be showing you questions in simple harmonic motion and the best way to tackle them. Number two is Newton's law of motion and the application. When you talk about the law of inertia, you talk about um, you know, the rate of change of momentum is equal to the force applied, which is second law of motion, and uh, for every action that is equal and opposite reaction. This is, or these are the top three questions according to Sir Isaac Newton. Most of the times, there are a whole lot of questions that come under it. But inability of the students to identify which law that the body is trying to test make students interpret it wrongly. And according to exam and chief examiner's guide, it has been proven that many students don't know the right way to attend this question. So in my videos I'm going to be uploading, I will going to be tackle everything about Newton's law of motion and how to tackle the questions. And number three is under law of conservation of energy or what I call mechanical energy. Law of conservation of mechanical energy, whereby we talk about potential energy, we talk about kinetic energy. Questions come there. And the, the, the truth is, when the question comes, you may not even know that what they want to test is the law of co conservation of mechanical energy. We're also going to talk about things like equilibrium of forces, talk about moment of forces, talk about simple momentum, we talk about um, simple machine as well. And I have videos on this topics listed in my channel if you go to the playlist. I'm going to be pasting some of them in the description. Number three is heat energy. Under this heat energy is very vast, but you must talk about you must talk about things like linear expansivity. You must talk about um, things like specific heat capacity, talk about latent heat, talk about temperature and pressure when it comes to heat. You should also be very good to learn what I call kinetic theory of matter. How to use kinetic theory of matter to explain different concepts that happens in real life or different phenomena. So the fifth one is waves, general wave equation. Under this general wave equation, I can bring in the one I call optics. General wave equation, optics, that is mirror formula, lens formula, and their application. You know, uh, when we talk about curved mirror, plane mirror, and how to solve questions on them and how they work, the principle behind them. You talk about 
simple microscope, compound microscope, telescope, and all the rest of them. These are the things and the area your teacher needs to concentrate. But if you're a teacher, you should concentrate in these areas. Study them to the fullest. Here with me, I have the YX syllable. And some of these things I'm telling you to study, they are what I have seen that has come from YX syllable. So the other one is electric field. Under this electric field, we talk about current electricity, we talk about AC circuit or simple AC circuit. We talk about um, capacitors, you know, arrangement of um, capacitors in a circuit, arrangement of resistors in a circuit. We also talk about electromagnetism or electromagnetic field. Yeah, we talk about Faraday's laws, we talk about Lenz's law. You know, being able to deeply understand the laws, how to apply them, and how to answer a few small, small questions that come from them, like AD current, is a plus for any teacher and the students who are preparing for 2025 YEC physics exam. I think that was the sixth one. And the last but not the least is atomic and nuclear physics. Under this atomic and nuclear physics, you have things like models of atom, energy quantization, photoelectric effects, thermionic emission, X-ray, structure of nucleus. Then you talk about radioactivity. You talk about which is, uh, you also talk about nuclear reaction, which is under fission and fusion. And you also talk about wave particle paradox, which is also under Heisenberg uncertainty principle. These are exactly what we come out in the part two. I'm not talking about part one. In the description of this video, I'm going to be giving you what I have done based on what I call harmonized topics for part one physics YEC 2025. Questions that are mostly going to come from that. And I'm going to bet you after this exam, come back here, go back through all these things I mentioned, all the questions that will be coming out from part two, which is about eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, Five questions are going to be coming out from these seven topics I've listed. Please remember, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it. And also, be coming back here because I'm going to be giving you different videos in order to prepare you for this exam. My job is to make sure that none of you is going to suffer what I suffered when I wrote my work. Have a nice day, and I wish you success in your exam.